it is time. I thought, um, I thought it was, uh, Shoddy that's next, but it's Merrick. So, this is the stunning, probably not as stunning as uh, you guys would want, conclusion of, uh, the challenge run for Earth and Delight only. Um, as far as the phrase challenge run goes... Not sure it's much of a challenge run. <laughs> um, it turned out that Light and Earth was a lot more overpowered than I, I thought. So hopefully it'll be a bit more difficult um, for the grass wood one next. I'm so pleased to meet you again, Pharaoh. Merrick, I assume you want to ghoul me again. You assume correctly. <coughs> Sorry. I haven't had my fill of tormenting you yet. Merrick, in this final battle, I will defeat the evil that is feasting on your soul. <laughs> Go ahead and try. So, um, this is easily the most difficult battle. <laughs> um, <laughs> Merrick's monsters hit like trucks. And, um, the board literally gives you the middle finger. So this is, this is easily the toughest battle in Castle Monster Col Coliseum. So, um, hopefully we do pretty well. I'm gonna send my, my forces that I want to get to level 9 out. And, um, we'll see how it goes from there. Yeah, Merrick, he hurts. <laughs> like, he really, really hurts. <laughs> Alright. So, um, let's see here. Blue eyes, obviously. Shining friendship. Those two will probably get to level 9, um, at the end of this battle. Battle locks, not fiend reflection. Aki beam. Um, who else? Prisman, but he's dead. Uh, Anthro. I've got 200 left. Skullangel. Right, so I got 180 left. I could bring out Gazelle. Um, uh, I think Gazelle's my only choice. She's the only one higher than level one. All right, Gazelle, here's a chance to redeem yourself. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting because this this. I better one hit most of his stuff with blue eyes or I am going to get my ass handed to me. Like, I know I'm a little more earth heavy in this match compared to the last one, so all my monsters are gonna be a tidbit tankier. Um but in but even so, like Merrick hits hard. He really does. So I am I am a little worried about how exactly we're gonna do this but you know hopefully we'll do it like I would not be surprised if his if his Phoenix could one tap my like shining friendship or um, even my blue eyes it's time to start yeah so I would not be surprised I really need to play carefully um, try to keep his freaking monsters off of me until I can take them down. Um, if they hit like any of my earth monsters, I'm okay. But I really need to keep his frickin' phoenix. Entertain me. His phoenix off of my blue eyes. And his earth monsters hit hard too. Ow, tear down your defenses. All right, we're maxed. I guess we get blue eyes moving. I could have blue eyes go on this trail. Um, it'll keep the volcano from murdering me. Um, but I really want blue eyes to, you know, 
be in fight. I'm, I'm gonna have him go forward. Because, I mean, I know I'm risking blue eyes, but I really want him to be in these fights. Like, it's it's him that's the most... He's the one that can one-tap the Phoenix and keep everything under control. Right, he's got two fire grasses, I believe. Shining Friendship is going to be the one that I'm relying on more for utility. Um, and Gazelle, hopefully he'll be able to redeem himself. He's got 223 attack in this map. I mean, Blue Eyes is 398. But even so, he should be able to do well. He's he's my tank, really. I, I need him to be a tank. I need him to survive. Alright, let's. That's not good for Blue Eyes to be there, but the volcano shouldn't erupt yet. It'll be a little bit. If there's a second fire grass. Is he gonna summon his phoenix yet? No. It's actually Crimson Sunbird. Um, but I'm calling it the phoenix. So I think I'm gonna move Blue Eyes right there. And keep him there for a little while. Oh my. Actually, let's go there. I don't think I can get hit by too many things. And hit him. That's actually some pretty good damage. Um, it's a first strike. <laughs> You're finally starting to entertain me. Let's put Shining French. Right here. Um, because he's got a lot of movement, so he can dive. Let's get Aki Beam up in there as well. And I guess Skelento's gonna sit this one out for now. I'm bound to lose at least one of these guys. I'm not expecting to go through Merrick flawlessly. Uh, this is not what I was expecting. Okay, he's gonna take a hit. That's okay. 157's not too bad. What else can hit him, though? That's the question. I don't think anything else can hit him. No. He's moving his fire grass back. I think I could have Blue Eyes go and take out that Triceratops. I'm ahead! I'll finish this duel quickly! Um, should I have Blue Eyes go over there? Oh, the volcano is imminent. I don't want to lose 50 health, but I'm going to have to. Let's have him go here. Hit this. It's a pretty good chunk. <laughs> My peace is still alive. Oh, what I should have said, I should have had him go here and then taken it out with Shining Friendship. Damn. I'm going to try to punch it over one. Get Octabeam on the lava, I guess. It's going to be lava soon. Keep moving these two up and over. Let's see what he does. Okay, he's going to hit Gazelle with Fag. Ow! Oh, that's a lot of damage. Gazelle's still not... He's going to be under 50% from this attack, though. Oof. Not looking good. Oh, Sunbird's out. That thing will one-hit most of my light monsters. Okay, Triceratops isn't going for the blue eyes. That's good. I'm going to get blue eyes off the lava, since we have another turn here. Best move for me is to just hit it. Take it down. Gazelle's doing really well. I'm proud of him. He might perish because... God, everything hurts. <laughs> nice attack. Very effective, Pharaoh. Let's have Aki Beam hit the fire grass. I doubt it'll want to... Oh, it did. That makes my life a little easier. 
I'm gonna keep sh I'm gonna keep shining angel off the lava for now. I don't really care if my earth monsters get on the lava to be honest. They're they're tanky enough to eat a couple of eat a couple of hits. Should I dive over with shining friendship? No. Right, let's see what he does about the blue eyes. Uh oh. Well, there goes Aki Beam. Ow! That's a hit and a half right there. I wasn't concentrating. I paid for that. The problem is, I might be able. To, the The good thing is, is I might be able to take him out. Take out his sunbird. Oh no. <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear it. Pharaoh, I hear the shadows calling your name. Shit. That was not a good time for the volcano to erupt. <laughs> Let your funeral begin. Oh shit, Shining Friendship was on the lava. Oh my god, the lava moves. Holy shit. Every, one, every single one of my pieces is taking damage. That's not good. I take damage in that location. Holy shite. Okay, um... Well, let's kill the sunbird. Um, that's, that's really... That's, that's really occupation number one. Akibim, he'll last. Oh, he can just take out the sunbird in one shot. Alright, goodbye, sunbird. Adios. I'm not dealing with that shit. Alright, let's get... Let's get Shining Friendship out of the lava. And if... Oh, that means diving. This is a problem. Alright, let's put him here. He'll live. Alright, I'm gonna bait out some attacks from my blue eyes. I don't want blue eyes to die, though. Oh, my God. I'm so screwed. I can take this out. That's good. Gazelle gets another kill. Gazelle's redeeming himself. <coughs> At least on this map. <coughs> You'll pay for that, Pharaoh. I will destroy your five senses until all you can feel is the doom in your heart. He's just getting progressively more evil. Alright, I know they're both in lava, but it's okay. Let's see what he does. Yeah, Blue Eyes is gonna bait out some attacks. Oh my! Ouch! I really hope the Triceratops can't take it out. If that's all the damage you can deal, then my monster will not fall. Oh my god, he hits like a truck. Please don't end up killing it. Oh! Oh, it's so close. Oh my god, and everything on the fire is going to take 30 damage. 30 isn't too bad, but even so. God, he hits like a fucking truck, dude. Alright, I need to take... Take it down. Alright, I think I'm going to end up beating him. God, he... Nearly killed almost all of my things. If if Blue Eyes can't kill it, I'm gonna hit it with Aki Beam. Okay, Blue Eyes can kill it. 360. I thought he hit like a truck. I hit like a truck. All right, good job, Blue Eyes. Let's see. There's only one thing I can do. <laughs> Punch it. Oh my God, I beat him. Holy shit. This will finish you. That was the most damage ever. Like, I, th I thank God that Sunbird was not able to attack. Was not able to take out my Occupy one shot. He'll make you pay, Pharaoh. I got him. Oh, that's yeah. That 
he does so much damage. He just does so much freaking damage. It's unbelievable. I'm your winner. I have been defeated. No, it was you who was supposed to lose, Pharaoh. You're the one who's going to the. Sh oh, you're the one who's going to shadow Humeric. No, no. And he's done. And I win. Level three, I keep him. Alright. Just give me that EXP. <laughs> Holy crap, that was a close one. Dink. Max Shining Front well another level for Sclangel. We get another level for Anthro. Max Shining Friendship. And then we have another level for Gazelle. He deserved it. And Max Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's that's nice to see. <coughs> Sorry. And I'm gonna take his Crimson Sunbird, which is ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, his Mega Zowler and his Crawling Dragon. Wow. Yeah, that Sunbird. I'm glad it wasn't able to kill my Occupy in one shot. It was able to kill all my wind type monsters in one shot. All of them. One hundred percent. Unfortunately, he didn't manage to beat me. I only have one monster left after I beat him with my win playthrough. Alright, Shadi is next. I shouldn't have too much trouble with Shadi. Um... The one limitation is that it's very low MP. Now you get very low AP in the match. So it's difficult to strategically move around your monsters while still having the availability to 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 um to keep up with him. Because all of his monsters require very low AP to move around. Um that's how shoddy works. And that frickin' dragon is annoying as shit too, so you'll see. Um it's only if I manage to be in the wrong spot to be able to do you again. I sense a greater force at work. <laughs> oh, I can't die. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Is that so? I will put you to the final test. Let us see if you can pass it. Prepare yourself, Yugi. It's time to duel, shoddy. Let's do this. Going with that one. And I failed. Woo. <laughs> and I failed, yeah. Dark. Alright. Yeah, max AP 450. And the only bonus from map is dark. So, Gazelle, Battle Locks, Aki Beam, Prisman, Anthro, Skull Angel. Sangin. Got 129 left. I'm going to keep it at that. The symbol all the way the fuck over here. Senegan's going to pop right there. Most of my stuff for frontline are two movers. So I'm just gonna line up all the two movers just like this. Skill Angel is probably gonna set up this one again. And he's a four diagonal, so Aki Beam's gonna stick right behind. Sending shouldn't do that. <laughs> and our backline Skill Angel. 
That's just kind of slowly gaining levels because of after EXP things. Alright. It's time to start. I almost have 100% of my thing. It only takes 150 AP to move. So it's really powerful. It's got 800 PP at, at level 1. So. Alright, I can probably. Yeah, use four monsters at a time. Except the Millennium Key, I want to see what your true strength is. <laughs> strength is. Wait. Wait, that was the wrong voice. Fuck! <laughs> I want to see what your true strength is. Oh, yeah, he has Karibo and Needle Wall. Wow, blast from the past, eh? <laughs> I will use all my strength to defeat you. It's like, isn't that like playing into a strap? Gazelle is expensive. Yeah. I think Gazelle might end up sitting this one out as well. We'll just leave it to Prisman and my two movers, and maybe Akibi. He's got a Typhoon number two. This is not going to be an easy fight. anything else? Oh! Maybe it's Akiveem and Gazelle that are going to sit out for this one. Alright. Well, how about let's do that? Because <laughs> Glendal might actually prove to be pretty useful in this fight. Just by the way his monsters move. Oh, he's going right up the middle with it. Keep moving. Let's see here. <laughs> Two, three, one. <laughs> so he could hit him, which is what I'm planning on. Tank it for me, baby. Tank it real good. I'm going to leave Frisman there for now. Keep my wall in line. And he took the bait. Ow! <laughs> okay, I thought that that was that was a pretty big smidgen of damage right there. Of course, Dark is plus 50 on this map, so it's pretty ridiculous. Oh, he's moving the Karibo up too. Oh, here comes the dragon. This annoying dragon. That's really more of a pestilence than anything else. It changed the music! Oh my god! Epic things are happening! I'll use all my skills at the very end of the duel. So I doubt I'll be able to one-tap it. Okay, barely any damage from that. Of course, it's dark versus earth, so I mean, there we go. There's some damage! <laughs> I guess that's probably why he hits so hard as well. You've gathered a nice you have you've gathered a nice assortment of monsters. Bam Goodbye, good riddance. Thanks for giving my son again some EXP. Ah, I cannot lose any more of my forces. Now we just keep pushing. Steamroller. Huh, what shall I do? Oh, he's attacking my prison man. Well, not doing very much. Ow. God, he is really eating up the hits. K 
keep pushing. Push through the damage. Take out the Karibo. Push through the damage. Destroy him. <laughs> Steamroll. <laughs> I'm just gonna put him here. Only move him up one for obvious reasons. <laughs> He's kinda getting low, I should worry about him a little bit. Yeah, that's. He's got 800 health, he can take it. Oh, he's attacking. Ah, that's not very much damage. And there's his final monster. Alright. Oh no, the dragon's attacking! Fuck! <laughs> well, there goes all of my waves. They're gonna all take like 30 damage, I think. 40? Well, thanks, Mr. Dragon. Oh, his monster takes 42. Alright, I wonder if I can, you know, just do that and take it down in one shot. I can! I'll just be doing that then. How can all my strategies be so powerless? And goodbye. Adios, muchacho. Oh! Ceremony of Earth. I wonder what that does. He went from 800 to 8. He gets nearly 100 health every turn. Every level up. That's ridiculous. They have a 1 at the end. I wonder what Ceremony of Earth does. I'll, I'll see what it does. Oh, he's moving up one. Whoa! That's a nice and big chunk right there. He could stay there. I don't, I don't care about him. <laughs> Alright. What does this special attack do? Increases its own attack by 130? Oh, boy! <laughs> Damn! Oh, well, there it goes. First man being a god. Wow, that's, that's actually, that's actually really good. <laughs> I can't move there. So you pretty much buff yourself and then swing for a one tap on most enemies. That enemy, however, I'll be able to one tap regardless. Especially after he gets iced by the dragon. Maybe, I'm not sure if he'll get iced by it. Well, I'm gonna take damage. That's Skelengel, there's 40 damage on Skelengel. Yeah. It's got a really weird effect radius. I don't know, 40 damage, I don't know. Should I Ceremony of Earth and then wait for a turn? I wonder if I can just one hit it anyway. I can. And we win. Ich will finish you. I wasn't expecting this duel to be very hard. And I'm not expecting the next one to either. Because the next one you guys get to see the most powerful forces. I will admit, that was incredible, Yugi. He 
Yugi, you have overcome my test. You have completely defeated me. Shaddy, I cannot wait to duel you again in the future. Until then, farewell. Goodbye. Now let's see, do I, did I get anybody else maxed out? No, those were all pretty low level. They all got a level up though. Level ups all around. Seven, seven, eight. That's pretty close. Three, four, seven, and four. So not bad. Um, let's see here. I can't really take any of his. I can't really use any of his monsters. Well, I guess I'll just take those three then. Nope. We're gonna save after we beat the next enemy. Who, as you guys probably guessed it, is the final boss, and it's gonna be Seto Kaiba. <laughs> and for a final boss, he's... he's pretty good. Seto Kaiba. I'm planning on beating him up with his own monster. Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Kaiba? <laughs> Yogi. See, time has finally come to decide which one of us is truly the superior duelist. I will not only defeat you, I will humiliate you. And the title of King of Capsule Monsters will be in my grasp. Are you ready, Yogi? It's time to duel, Kaiba. So you get infinity MP and 999 AP. Like, this is true final boss status. So we've got his primary thing. It's his two blue eyes white dragons, and he's got a uh, defender of light. He's got meteor dragon, that frickin', um, and he's got, I don't know what that thing is. Oh, Ascension, and I don't know, a couple of fucking weird things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's only got nine. He doesn't actually have ten. See, infinity. Zero out of ten. So, we are going to grab all my level nines first. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Shining Friendship. Two-Headed King Rex making the return. Fiend Reflection number two. King Tiger Wonghu and Ganine. We got Torike coming in. And Rock or Grotto making the return. We only have two left. Hmm. I think I'm gonna grab Sanji. Um, and we have the choice. Do I want. Fr I'm gonna grab me a Frizz Man. Gazelle, you did okay. You did great last time. But I think Frizz Man. Man, he was. He was. He was pretty stellar. I got all my forces out for this one. Every, all hands on deck. We got Torike coming back. I mean, we even have freaking two-headed King Rex here, boys. We have all the HP in the world. Blue Eyes White Dragon's going down mid, paired by Senjin. And then we've got King Tiger Wonghu in the back here. We have Prisman going to be on the left. He's going to be going up there. Fiend Reflection's going to be back behind. We've got Shining Friendship, that's going to be way over here as well. And then last but not least, our Genin, who is going to be driving up the back. Making sure that everybody's all nice and, and sad and solidified and that Light-type monsters get their bonuses correctly. It's time to start. And I'm going to summon everything before I even move. So I'm just going to go pretty much from right to left in my summoning. Because I want everything out. I want as much plus as I can get. I don't know if I'm going to max it out. I'm probably going to get around eight, 900. Um, but if I do max it out, I should have plenty of breathing room to, sum to move around everyone. 
victory is practically falling into my lap. <laughs> oh yeah, there's his skull guardian. <laughs> Oops, sorry. And then he's got. Oh yeah, he has a lesser dragon. That's right. I'll tear down your defenses. And here comes my blue eyes, significantly more powerful than both of his because it's level nine. <laughs> we got Senjin. We're at 871. We'll definitely max it out. I'm not sure if we'll be able to move everyone, though. That's the question. 999. And that's all. Damn, we couldn't quite summon the last person. But that's okay. He takes a couple turns to summon as well, so. I'm not worried. Couldn't quite get Prisman out, but. Oh, uh, yeah, that freaking. Um monk thing is it hurts it hits like a truck oh you know who was behind it oh it was fiend reflection that we couldn't quite get out all right let's see if we can move everyone um maybe i did shoot there are some pretty expensive ones but there are also some pretty cheap ones it's um it's sentient and blue eyes that really are the uh one two three yeah, it's Senegan and Blue Eyes that are the really expensive ones. Have him go over here. I guess Shining Friendship is pretty expensive as well. Alright, uh, Oh. Maybe King Tiger and Fiend Reflection are going to have to sit out for the final battle. That's going to be unfortunate, but I do want everyone, I do want all of my really most powerful forces to be charging him down. So, oh yeah, that freaking lizard. And then, Suji. Alright, we're going to keep the steamroller going. I know that that lizard will be able to attack some of my forces, but that'll be okay. Um, because I am inexplicably tanky. I mean, we're talking 1,200 health here. We're talking 1,000 health here. 1,000 health there. Like, we have the tank. Ooh, I could almost jump in with a snipe there. Let's keep it. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna keep shining friendship there for now. Keep moving. Now we can move with these two. Since I'm keeping blue eyes and shining friendship there. Alright, let's see what Kaiba does. I'm waiting for him to jump on one of my monsters. And right, here comes his blue eyes. This meteor dragon, maybe? No. Oh, well, there's the jump. <laughs> that lesser dragon is about to get destroyed. <laughs> so, lesser dragon, uh, I hear you like mudkips. Let's see here. What do I have that can one tap it? Oh, I wonder. Is it a blue eyes white dragon? Maybe it's a blue eyes white dragon with 445 attack. <laughs> Boo! Goodbye. Hey, what are you gonna do now, Kaiba? What am I going to do? What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to defeat you, of course. <laughs> I am unstoppable. Alright, let's keep moving forward. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna kick his ass. There's nothing, there's nothing that Seto Kaiba can do. I'm gonna keep pushing forward. I'm gonna keep, keep on keeping on. Holding the line. Holding the seam roller line. <laughs> That's pretty much what Earth types do. Is they just like steamroll forward and and that's it. Like, you set up this wall, and then you just push forward with it. You won't be celebrating for much longer. Oh no, my Shining Friendship. 
That's not too much damage. Oh yes, and he has that thing. It's gonna attack my turret cave. Ow! He's moving forward with blue eyes. Alright, let's pop another one of these monsters, shall we? I don't want blue eyes to get too greedy. So I think I'm just gonna diagonal attack, snipe grappler out of there. Adios, muchacho. Smack that. And then finish it off with Prisman. I never forget a wolf, especially one that I'm going to make you regret. Keep pushing forward. Steamroll any monster in our way. That's my motto. That's kind of what I'm doing, to be honest. Any monster that Sarukaiva decides to put in the in the barrier between our monsters. I just, like, he lands one attack, and then I just completely destroy him. I decimate whatever monster he puts in my, in my steamroller's path. All the way to his symbol. There's his meteor dragon. Blue Eyes is going to attack. 171. I have 400 attack. He only has 170. <laughs> it's kind of funny, isn't it? Ooh, that's going to hurt. That'll even work. Right, he's splitting up. Now it's time to move in. Attack from the side. Goodbye. Bop. Toast. Toasted my goats did. Move fiend reflection in. Go for the skull guardian. Bam. That was a hard hit right there. Laugh it up now because I'll get the last laugh. Now it's time to strike. Go for the blue eyes. Oh, that thing is pretty tanky. <laughs> Not tanky enough. Getting killed by my little shining friendship. <laughs> He's got me cornered, but I've got him. Let's take him down. Steam rolling. Keep everything mobile. What are you gonna do, Kaiva? Gonna go for my fiend reflection? Not a bad choice, but it's gonna get your blue eyes white dragon killed. <laughs> oh, Torike, yeah, he can handle that, no problem. <laughs> Tis is but a scratch. <laughs> Ooh, meteor dragon's a little worrying. Ow. <laughs> okay, that that he can't handle as much. <laughs> There's another hit on the Fiend Reflection, but you'll be fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> and so the sky goes dark.
So my blue eyes went down from 400, now it's down to 352. That doesn't mean it's not gonna one hit his. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Boom. Roasted and toasted. Hit the meteor dragon, baby. Bam. Yeah, I never forget to move. Especially one that I'm going to make you regret. Actually, I'm gonna let Prisman take that down. Bam! You deserve it, Prisman. Pack. Yeah. Hey, yeah! Forces have been weakened. Now I strike. Boom, another one. Bites the dust. And the steamroller moves forward. There's nothing left he can do. It's over. All he's got is an injured meteor dragon. Doomed. To die at the hands. Or should I take out his symbol with his beloved blue eyes white dragon? <laughs> 171. That's not even a scratch. I'm gonna take out his symbol with his beloved blue eyes white dragon. Goodbye. So it's got 800 health. <laughs> I changed the plan. <laughs> so, yo, it's got 800 health. That's a tanky symbol. Change the plan. I'm going to hit it a couple times <laughs> before I take it out with blue eyes. It's probably the tankiest enemy I've ever fought. Can I pump blue eyes up to 400 with my abilities? Let's see here, Ganine can't use his ability. Let's see here, what's Shining Friendship's ability? Helps all pieces recover, oh. So it's an air of effect heal. Increases defense. Reduces dark. All right, so I won't, I can't buff it. Well, I'm gonna corner it, put it in a bad position, so it's almost toast. And I'll see what he does with the Meteor Dragon next turn. You're gonna lose, Seto. And it's gonna be at the hands of your own Blue Eyes White Dragon. He's gonna attack my Prisman? Ow. God. Dick move, bro. No. It can't be! He moved out of the way! <laughs> oh no. You know what? In true Earth fashion, the final move shall be given to the two headed King Rex. Yish will finish you! Goodbye. And so. This completes the Earth Challenge Run. No! Victory! Flawless victory! Steamroller complete. I've lost my most powerful capsule monster. My strongest servant. My strategy was flawless. I had the exact capsule monster I needed to win. But still, I've lost. Kyber, I may have won this time, but our heal levels are exactly the same, even though I completely destroyed him. Ah, uh, is this some pathetic attempt to console me? If it is, then you can stop right now. No, I just know how tough you really are. <laughs> but I don't have to listen to you running off at the mouth. You listen to me, you the our flight is far from over. Great, we'll meet again, Kyber. 
and so it's at 999 monster points for winning <laughs> and 100 clear from the CXP. Couple of levels. Um, I, I don't know. Singing and destroyer golem. I don't know. But this is it. That's the end. We won. Title of the Capsule Monsters is ours. And I'm going to skip the cutscene at the end because it is really shaky. Alright. Anyway, that concludes this challenge run. The next challenge run will be a wood and water type only run. So, with that... I have to end with this shaky you've done it on the screen. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you all later.